Look at all this wood. And it's right around the corner where we live. How crazy is that? Yeah, and, it's, <laughs> and the prices are much more better in here also than in a, ro a regular hardware store. Alright, that was really lightweight. I expected it to be much heavier and not struggle to get it inside, but that was really light, which is amazing because it needs to be light. Yeah, so there are different styles of uh, plywood actually that we can buy, but this one is called populige. I don't know how you pronounce it in English, I think it's we'll populige. Look it up. We'll look it up and we'll put it here. And the wood that we now bu bought is actually for the framing inside of the feet area and the head unit. If you found some wood and you want to know what the quality is of wood, then you need to find the class because it has a classification of the quality and this has a BB, so that's supposed to be like a decent material. Okay, let's bring this baby home and cut it up. Yeah, we gotta cut it. <laughs> I also bought some special Armaflex tape for a subscriber who gave us a tip in the comments of like putting some protection between the two metal. The possibility of corrosion will be much more lower, so I didn't think about that. So thank you for do, uh, saying that. And uh, if you see some other tips or some things that we're struggling with, leave something in the comment. Let us know. So I'm going to get your prescription drugs. Yeah, my <laughs> yeah, I'm having another problem, guys. <laughs> I'm having some pain on my body. My are looking outside and it's warm and it's cold. So basically, my body's like saying, <clears throat> Senor, you need to go inside before you freeze your ass off. We just need spring to arrive. Yeah. Don't we? That's gonna be so much nicer. Long days, warm temperatures. Like. Yeah, that's, that's the idea. <laughs> we'll see about that, but in six months, that's probably here in Belgium raining. <laughs> probably, but we can only dream, right? Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get your drugs. Okay, thanks. All right? Yeah. Mwah. All right. It's raining. It's raining, guys. For a change, welcome to Belgium. Oh. It's always raining when it shouldn't be raining. Yeah. Oh. It's over. It's over? <laughs> it's stopped. Yeah, it stopped. Okay. Done. We have a time frame of probably like two minutes. <laughs> I mean, it's confusing, man. It's confusing. I'm not feeling anything, so we're going to assume it stopped. So we're going to take our time now to cut this wood. <laughs> You're going to take your time? <laughs> Shouldn't rush. This wood plywood costs like 50 euros. So uh, the last thing you want to do is make a steak caught the wrong measurement. It's like we have to buy so much stuff, but you know, we need to like calculate everything, like when we're gonna buy everything, because we can't buy everything together, we're not that rich. So we really have to think about everything we get. So, and actually he broke his phone a few days ago. So now it's like, should we buy our toilet or should we buy a new phone? I never thought I had to make this decision in my life, choosing between a toilet and a phone. Well, we're not gonna buy a phone. I mean, at least I'm not gonna buy a phone because I'm too stubborn and it's still working for now. For now. I mean, this morning I was opening it, I was like, oh, okay, I can make it for at least six months and then probably then the van by then will be finished and then I'll buy a new phone. And then tomorrow morning I was like checking the weather and my screen was just getting blackout and white. And I was like, no! But then it got back. It's a wreckage, but we'll manage. We'll, to manage. we'll manage as far as we can get. And if you have to get a new one, we get a new one. Yeah, exactly. Then we won't get a toilet. Yeah, we all have to have, we'll we have need to, to have We'll have to dig holes for a while, you know. <laughs> you gotta buy a shovel. <laughs> it's cheaper. Shit, I forgot the batteries. Oh, darling. They're in, they're still in basement. Oh, but they're charging. Go, go, go. I got the batteries. Well, it's okay, we're gonna cut. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights. This piece is done. It's also been primed actually against moist. 
It's like a coating part that I've done it and also in between everything. So now I put the armor flex in it. And uh, that's gonna come in on here, on the sidings, completely covered. So then we, at least we have some insulation on that space, but then we win at least five centimeters. So I think in, in total, we're losing five centimeters um, in total. So basically two and a half there, two and a half there. So I at least have 195 centimeters. So that's like six foot two. Yeah, I don't know. You have to figure it out. All right. So this is Armaflex, guys. So it's a thick foam, closed cell foam actually. And uh, it has a self adhesive sticker on it. So I'm gonna put that on that, of course. But just to give you an idea, this is actually an insulation, but also a little bit of a dead sounding material also. You should probably look it up because there are different styles of Armaflex. IG is the better one because it's also better against the smell of it because apparently if this gets into a warmer situation climate then it could smell differently a lot of people use this to insulate their van with um i wasn't convinced with the r value of this one so uh, that's why you opted with the spray foam a lot of people uh, are scared of spray foaming and that it's really hard to get it off but if you have like the right materials it's not a problem so yeah all right i'm gonna cut this Steph's already at work in the van downstairs in our backyard. He's finishing the framing of the bed. So we need to order our composting toilet really soon. We've been waiting for a while because sometimes it gets in promotion, like it's the price is really low. At that time we couldn't really afford it yet, it wasn't a priority. So now we, we're at the stage like we really want to buy it, but now the price is like double, which is like the usual price. I have to get to work in a few hours. So uh, yeah, and it's also a one man's job. I can't really do anything to help Steph. I'm probably just going to slow him down because he has to show me how everything works and yeah, try to give me something to do. So I'm going to get, <coughs> well, my voice is really crooked. Ugh. I'm not sick, no COVID guys, no COVID. So I'm going to go get ready for my run, go see if Steph needs any help downstairs. And um, this buddy is probably going to take another nap. <laughs> to bring your tea, I had it ready. Oh, you got my tea? I'm gonna go get it. Forgot it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No. Are you gonna run? Yeah. Oh, I you didn't know notice that. Now. It's like a half an hour later. <laughs> I'm just like so focused on this. I need to like be focused because sometimes you're like making a hole and then you're playing it and then you're like, oh, I put it in here and then two seconds later, shoot. I had to turn this around. Oh no, I had to take a plywood and turn it around and make another <laughs> hole. And before you know, you make 15 holes in the wrong place after that i think we need to take the floor again out and then uh, permanently fix the floor but i think that's going to be for the next vlog right yeah next time shower toilet toilet <laughs> what the toilet do you think we'll have i already told him <laughs> you already told them oh we're gonna say like put it down in the comment but okay <laughs> that spoils the surprise but anyway <laughs> sorry well we hope you enjoyed this video guys and uh, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye guys. Bye. Oh, that was a bit too hot. I think the tea is still too hot. You can see still, see the, can you see it? The dam that's going out of this bottle. Oh my God. My mouth's like, thank you, darling. <laughs>